At the start of the episode, Mitsuri is shown, and she looks very happy to see Tanjiro. Tanjiro is also quite delighted. Mitsuri says that she has made pancakes for Tanjiro, and they even have extra butter. Tanjiro finds it quite strange, wondering if he came to train or to eat pancakes. Then Mitsuri feeds him the pancakes with her own hands and gives him a pink dress to wear. Later, we see some other members also wearing pink dresses, and everyone except Tanjiro feels very embarrassed to be in the pink dresses. Mitsuri is teaching everyone some moves and says that the more flexible their bodies are, the better they will be able to perform the moves. Tanjiro is stretching his leg with another guy. Mitsuri tells them they are doing it wrong and takes Tanjiro's place. At first, the guy is happy, but when Mitsuri suddenly stretches his leg, he screams out in pain. Then it's Tanjiro's turn, and he also yells loudly when Mitsuri stretches his leg. Everyone else watching gets scared seeing this. After that, we see Obanai waiting for Tanjiro. As soon as Tanjiro arrives, Obanai tells him that he is going to beat him up because he had a lot of fun with Mitsuri. After that, there is a scene where Obanai is reading a letter given to him by Mitsuri. In the letter, Mitsuri mentions that she had tea with Tanjiro and that Tanjiro is a very nice person. Reading this makes Obanai very angry at Tanjiro. Obanai tells Tanjiro that unlike Mitsuri, he is not soft and that his training will be very difficult. Tanjiro thinks to himself that this guy has hated him from the very first day. Then, Obanai takes Tanjiro to his training ground. There, we see some Demon Slayer students tied up. Obanai says that he is about to attack and that Tanjiro will have to dodge all these obstacles. Tanjiro asks if the people who are tied up have committed any crimes. Obanai responds by saying that since Tanjiro asked, he will tell him. These people have committed the crime of being weak, the crime of not learning anything, the crime of wasting his time, and the crime of bothering him. Tanjiro gets scared and asks what he should do now. Obanai then explains how to swing the sword. Tanjiro is quite impressed by how much speed and accuracy Obanai demonstrates in such a small space. When it's Tanjiro's turn, one of the tied up members begs him not to hurt them. Tanjiro is also quite nervous about possibly hurting any of the students, so he swings his sword very slowly. Obanai finds this to be a joke and says, do you call this training? This is just a joke. Obanai then stands opposite Tanjiro and tells him to attack. Just as Tanjiro is about to attack, a boy tells Tanjiro not to hit him. Tanjiro gets distracted by the boy, and Obanai attacks Tanjiro. Tanjiro tries two to three more times, but he is unable to succeed. Tanjiro thinks that if he tries to attack quickly, he might seriously injure someone if he makes a mistake. On the other hand, if he attacks too slowly, Obanai will attack him. Tanjiro tries to understand Obanai's attacks and realizes that Obanai's attack style is like a serpent, capable of striking from any direction. After Obanai's training session ends, we see that Tanjiro continues to train while the other students are resting. They ask Tanjiro how long he plans to keep training so hard. Tanjiro replies that he doesn't want them to get into trouble because of him, so he keeps training to improve himself. Eventually, the other students join Tanjiro in his training. Later, we see a night scene where everyone is going to take a bath. Their bodies are covered with wounds, which sting a lot when they enter the hot water. Despite the pain, they bravely take their baths, crying out due to the stinging sensation. The next day, we see Tanjiro training with Obanai again. Obanai says that this drill is pointless if Tanjiro reacts so slowly. Then, we see another bath scene where Tanjiro is screaming from the pain. On the third day, Tanjiro gets beaten by Obanai again. On the fourth day, Tanjiro decides that he needs to attack with more precision than ever before. After much effort, Tanjiro finally manages to land an attack on Obanai, tearing his Howry sleeves, and his training with Obanai comes to an end. Obanai advises Tanjiro to stay away from Mitsuri or he will be killed. Tanjiro feels very sad that Obanai still hates him. Then, as Tanjiro is heading towards Sunemi's dojo, he sees Zenitsu. Zenitsu is begging Tanjiro to help him escape from there. Tanjiro is startled to see Zenitsu in such a state and screams, asking whom he is trying to escape from. Zenitsu replies that he came here like a lizard and that it's a matter of life and death for him. Just then, Tsunemi arrives and grabs Zenitsu by the head, telling him to either come back for training or die by his hands. Zenitsu pleads for forgiveness, 
but Tsunemi knocks him out and tells Tanjiro to carry him. As Tanjiro carries Zenitsu and follows Tsunemi, he says he came for training after a long time. Tsunemi replies that there's no need to act all chummy, he hasn't accepted him yet. Tanjiro responds that it doesn't matter to him because he hasn't accepted Tsunemi either, especially since Tsunemi stabbed Nezuko. Tsunemi retorts that Tanjiro is annoying him and makes a weird face. Then we see Tsunemi's training, where all the students are getting injured. Tanjiro notes that the Wind Hashira's teaching method is extremely harsh and now he understands why Zenitsu was reacting the way he did. They had to train until someone vomited or passed out, and Tsunemi didn't give them any breaks. He was especially harsh on Tanjiro, even the slightest mistake could result in serious injury. After that, we see Genya trying to talk to Tsunemi. Tsunemi says he doesn't have a younger brother and threatens to destroy him if he doesn't leave. Tanjiro observes that this doesn't seem like a typical sibling argument. Tsunemi tells Genya not to talk to him as if they are close and says Genya should quit the Demon Slayer Corps. He mocks Genya for not knowing any breathing techniques and still calling himself a swordsman. Genya says he has come to apologize to his older brother. Tsunemi replies that he doesn't care about that. Genya tries to explain that he eats demons, but before he can finish, Tsunemi gets so angry that the entire dojo shakes with his fury. Tsunemi is about to gouge out Genya's eye, and Genya, terrified, is unable to say anything. But Tanjiro intervenes and saves Genya, and they both fall outside. Tanjiro tells Tsunemi that Genya is not worthless, it's thanks to him that they were able to defeat upper rank 4. Tanjiro argues that Tsunemi has no right to force Genya to leave the Demon Slayer Corps. This infuriates Tsunemi, who then attacks Tanjiro. Tanjiro blocks Tsunemi's punch and manages to land a kick, telling Zenitsu to take Genya away from there. Zenitsu, frightened, protests and says, don't involve me in this. Tsunemi says that perhaps Tanjiro wants to die, and that he would enjoy making it happen. Genya pleads with Tsunemi to let Tanjiro go, saying that Tanjiro is not at fault. Meanwhile, Zenitsu grabs Genya and they run away. Zenitsu tells Genya how awful his brother is and that he understands his pain. Genya hits Zenitsu and says, he's my older brother, you can't talk about him like that. Afterwards, the other students try to intervene, but they end up getting beaten as well. On orders from the higher ups, Tanjiro's training with the Wind Hashira is suspended, and he is banned from even going near Tsunemi's dojo. In the end, Tanjiro and Genya are unable to reconcile with the Shinazugawa brothers. After that, Tanjiro and Zenitsu head to their next training session. Tanjiro expresses doubts about the effectiveness of his training, saying he doesn't feel any progress or a connection to his Demon Slayer mark. Zenitsu, while walking through the jungle with him, remarks that the Wind Hashira is completely foolish. Suddenly, Zenitsu hears a noise, and they both follow it. They arrive at a waterfall, and beneath it, they see Inosuke and some other people who are praising Buddha. Then they hear a voice saying, if you can control your mind and heart, even this fire will feel cool to you. We then see the stone Hashira, and the episode ends.